The spirit of the city, now in the sky. It's just another day in the office, only today my office is 164 feet above the city and I've got 360 degree views of Sydney. I'm also joined by some special guests. We've got Lucho and Nathan from Faker. Now you're not part of Faker. I'm Josh. Well, I entered a competition on the MTV website and here I am, 164 feet above the city. Being my co-host, helping yep. interview one of Australia's biggest bands. Do you get inspiration from the city when you write your songs? Yeah, environment is really kind of important. I, I actually can't be static when I'm writing. I have to be in transit. What kind of inspiration do you draw from Sydney directly? Like Sydney can at times be fickle and kind of move on to the next thing, but I, I like the fact that something has to fight for a voice in Sydney. I've spent a lot of time trying to get away from Sydney and ride in different places, and, no, and I, I really love Sydney, but sometimes you have to kind of go away to figure out who you are or what you're about and what you write about. You wrote the last album in LA. Is that displayed yeah, in your music? That really had a big effect on me, just in terms of, in that particular city, there's a culture of directness that it's kind of hard to, to miss. I feel like that came out in, in the way we kind of approached kind of recording and putting, putting our music together. With the album, what sort of things do you do you hope that the listener will get out of it? Like any any key things that you like specifically write about? You've got to write something that's going to end up being that person's song, you know, and, and you have to communicate with a whole lot of people and want people to, to, to discover their own meaning or, or make their own relationship with the song. The McKenna Air Bar, coming to Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. Visit mckennaairbar.com.au or SMS 0421 269 369 for more details. But hurry, tickets are limited. Pardon me, boy, is that the Chattanooga choo-choo?